Why, hello there. Welcome to Paleo Pines. That's right, the game is finally fully out um, and has been for a few days at this point. <laughs> Um, but I have been working, so I haven't had a chance to play this. Uh, as promised, I did say that the first episode of this game um, will be uh, two hours long, or around that mark, anywhere between 90 minutes to two hours, and everything from that forward will be about an hour long for the first, I don't know, 10 to 20 episodes. We'll see. Uh, just so we can blitz through the game as much as possible. I have played this on Twitch recently, so if you haven't checked out my Twitch channel, you should. Link in the description. Uh, and I play my character, which is Verta Joe Biden. <laughs> now, this is my characters from the demo, and they both carried over. However, I want to start from fresh. Um, I think that's probably best reflective. So we'll go ahead and go through the character creator uh, and just see. Okay, I'm, I'm not that pale, but I, I'm not... Okay. Well, we'll go we'll go with this uh what's this what, what's this supposed to be eye color okay do i have red yeah let's go red <laughs> this is hair color so dark brown works okay well they don't have a faux hawk or a mohawk or anything similar so the closest one to me would be there <laughs> but i'd rather hold on to some dreams for now what's this look like is this a yeah it's a ponytail the hair options are rather lacking, so I uh, don't really have much choice in what I pick here, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> and last time, I think I went for tweedy tweed um, jacket and stuff, but we'll have a look. Uh, oh, well, there is multiple pages. Okay, well, we'll go with this this time. Um, I Look. This game is a lot of fun. I really like the game. I really like the dinosaurs. The people, on the other hand, they look so uncanny. Un uncanny? <laughs> uncanny valley. And it's, quite frankly, horrifying. I'll just put on some small shoes that look like they're pointed to murder, which is exactly what the characters look like. Lord. Oh, hold up. How much can I fit in here? Lord, Rev, Doctor, Corey. Oh my god, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We're gonna be Lord Reverend Doctor. Just so that whenever someone calls me by my name, I'll be like, no, it's Lord Reverend Doctor Corey to you. Yes, it's pedant This is new to me. This is very new. This is adorable, but very new. This is Lucky. Oh, Lucky from the demo and a game I played before, but Lucky, this is Lucky's life growing up. How very, very cute. Lucky has a dream stone. Oh, I'm yawning. I saw a bed and it made me yawn. <laughs> Here's me playing my flute and Lucky trying to eat the musical notes. Be the bugger. <laughs> now Lucky having to, I assume, live outside because of its sheer size. Also, the game is so loud. Like, I've got my headset on the floor and I can hear it and I'm concerned it's going to be repeating. I don't know what to do with my headset right now. I'm trying to put it away. So I'm just going to turn the game down, the whole system down, just to cover the game. I want to watch this whole cutscene, so I can't pause. Okay. Uh, I've seen this cutscene before, so have you. It's just us arriving. It takes a while. We're here, Lucky. We're here. Paleo Pines. Oh, Lucky, exactly how I imagined it. Maybe not exactly. I mean, it's a little rundown, but... You're right. We'll definitely make it work. Yep. There's a lot to me to make to work. Okay. Dismount. Pause. Settings. Audio. Good freaking lord. What? That'll do. I'm still seeing uh, some peakageness. <laughs> it was a long day, but we made it. Press to pet the snoot. To boopeth thy snooteth. Let me grab you a treat. You must be hungry. Aye. Here's a carrot. Enjoy the carrot. Ah, oh, so weird having to start from the beginning. Because I'm playing it on Twitch, and uh... So weird at the beginning on Twitch. That was the last one I didn't eat them all, exactly. You greedy, greedy grubber. <laughs> what have you found? Oh, you're a sleeping tent, even a dreamstone. Yeah. There you go. I just need to actually turn this into a pen. Time to get my own sleeping patch. Yeah, I agree. Oh, uh, no, I can't because... Oh, uh, so maybe Lucky can help. <laughs> All right, Lucky. It's your time to shine. Uh, okay, yeah. Basically, I'm going to skip some 
pieces of speech because yeah also there was no option to skip uh tutorials which i can assure you i would have done thank you good night writing diaries we have got to save oh for goodness sake the sight of another bed it made me yawn again i had about i had reasonable sleep for what is effectively my last day off before days I'm not super duper tired, but apparently my body's just seeing anything and just yawning. Good morning, Lucky. Yes, good morning. You incredibly, credibly cute and devious little monster. Now, about breakfast. Oh, hello, aren't you an unexpected surprise? Uh, okay, can I skip to the point where you're actually talking to me? Yep. See, Owen, oh, sometimes you've got to follow the track and see where they take you. Oh, my gums and tongues. Mary, are you seeing this? I see it, but I swear my blinkers are messing with me. Is that a real parasol? Ooh, her name is Lucky. I keep going to call her Lucy. What a beauty she is. See, I told you it was worth the rush when I first spot the track. So I sent her to race them, but no. I said to myself, Mary, you can't chase without Owen. Uh, and then he's talking then they're talking about how long it took him to get ready because he's a nerd anyway it's a pleasure to meet you and your powers office you, you know we haven't seen one since since the incident since the war <laughs> actually we've never seen one never uh, oh i hope you didn't come here looking for herds of them maybe they're definitely around uh no it's all good are you planning on moving in yes Yeehaw, new neighbours. Also, I um, didn't click the option, which I usually do, which is a thousand times, yes. Oh, um, well, I only had time to pack what I was for the moment field study, but here we go. It gives me a journal and some food. So, great. Oh, my alarm's going off. <laughs> so, this is the time I was planning to get up, which is currently 8 a.m. Um, but I got up at 6 a.m. So, I was actually up a little bit earlier today. Hope to see you around sometime and good luck with moving in. Basically, here's a journal. Welcome to the place it's so on and so forth this game shines with its dinosaur management and dinosaur taming um in my opinion and the collection of them i do not enjoy the uh, you'll see it in action the quest setup and the people are quite frankly they're, they're literal side characters as in you don't interact with them much you don't do much with them um they just give you quests and advanced dialogue that is it um, you don't have a relationship bar, a friendship bar, nothing like that. Um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. There are games that um, you don't have that with. But um, to say at the very least that it can be quite a troll with the quests is an understatement. And I will make you witness that. Um, it, it's horrific. If you've got any form of neurodivergence or you've got like OCD, anything like that at all. And you start a quest and you finish said quest. And then you get another three quests after that. And then you finish those three and you get another couple of quests from the same person. You do go a bit stir fry crazy. I can assure you. Because I have done it. I was on stream people were like, oh, you just, you just work through them. And, you know, you can do them when you want. But then if I don't do them when I want, they start to pile up and there's too many. But I just, oh, the quest, the quest in this game, they're, uh, they're something. I'd like for them to have been paced out massively more than they have been. Anyway, what you may have seen me just do with Lucky is effectively just hit the um, stuff with some, uh, well, with his stamina to just get his XP up or her XP up. This will effectively allow me to um, do more as time goes on. Now, the idea is that you just continuously use all the stamina up throughout the day. And what you can do as well is if you continue riding the um, creature or dino, um, the XP will still go up anyway, so you can usually sprint after you've got, like, not enough to do any actions, and then you can, um, effectively level up again, which will give you a bit more actions, will give you a head start into the next one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a walk effectively, because I know how to get some easy money early on. Um, very, very useful, so I'm going to use that, and we're going to discover the valleys and stuff like that, but, um... Do I want really to skip this? Yes, there is. Thank goodness. I don't need to see the valley being introduced. We've seen it before in the demo. Stuff that's new or we didn't see in the demo that I didn't show you guys, I will 100% show as per norm. But here we go. We have a dreamstone that we can pick up, which we will need uh, for down the line. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. 
and then um i know we need clovers and dandelions and they, they they do spawn in multiple locations but also it's kind of good to have them for when we get the quests for them which is soon so if we can do that however for the easy easy quick quick buccarino i'm telling you now pears so these pears they spawn daily and it's anywhere between one to four from what i can remember and they sell for 10 shells a pop that is very very useful you can also pick up stuff like cranberries and get some money out of cranberries as well now cranberries can spawn in a few places same as the other stuff but um here's one of the spawns right here so we'll get that in our journal there's also an artifact around here that we should probably pick up for our journal so that this first day all we're doing really is just using lucky to get around um which is a little bit faster than walking not i don't think as fast as my sprint but it'll do um and all we're doing is just literally grabbing all of these resources so that we can manage oh i've already researched cranberries doy um, and then grab this clover. We'll look for some dandelions. I do see that small dreamstone right there. So we'll go grab that and then we'll hop back on Lucky and go across. Perfect. And come on. We're riding across because over there, there is some stuff as well. We also need to go to that hill to find the... Um, I didn't pick these things. My bad. Um, there we go. Up we pop. Uh, to find the dandelions because there is a quest almost immediately that you need um, for this. Okay, lucky you're in the way, mate. Let's just quickly write about Pebble Bridge. Lovely. That's a new location. Now, if I go left here, there should be... Um, yep, some clovers. So, I think, if memory serves me right, we need 15 for the quest and then when we tame a creature, we need 5 or something like that. So... 20 clovers and 20 dandelions and the dandelions are always the ones i, I just can't find <laughs> but that's fine now where is this artifact that spawns around here oh it's there yeah okay, i was about to say it's not spawned but it has okay oh another set of you let's get out our journal and research that there we go so all we're doing at the moment is just literally going around grabbing stuff. Uh, we do have some quests, of course. Uh, so if we go to them here, visit Pebble Plaza, buy Herberville food, find the parasol office, ask going about parasol offices. Um, which, to be fair, if we wanted to get tick off that for Owen, it'd be up there. However, I should forewarn you, um, we will we will 100% get given another quest or three. Uh, unless it's not until I do the quest for where I have to go to Pebble Plaza, which is entirely possible. But my confidence isn't very high. <laughs> but we will make our way to Owens uh, just because it's this way and I need to grab a couple more things. So a good thing to look out for as well on the ground when you're playing this game is just free loot, okay? Um, you can 100% find stuff like uh, anything from rocks, fiber, um, wood, all the way through to uh, free herbivore food and that is very very useful because it saves you a little bit of money buying the herbivore food so you know it's all good now if we have a quick look at our inventory i don't know how much these um cranberries sell for i think it's 15 so that's like 45 and 65 shells we could get right now um selling plants or plants vegetables and stuff that you harvest is a really good way however you need to use them for the quest lines and stuff like that so just keep that in mind um it's probably best if you want to head start on the quest lines um to either buy the potatoes because they take forever or plant them really early so we'll try and plant them early just because um they give you so many and more than you'll need for a quest line which means you can effectively sell the leftovers and you get so many from it it's insane is that i don't think that i think that's just part of the scenery yeah i swear there was another artifact around here but i can't seem to see it however there are some more plants i have actually not picked these up in my other game tamar blooms so we will grab these because i've never collected these before and i don't think you can sell them that's fine we are going to be getting to the point where we start running out of inventory space and i don't think there's a way to upgrade it yet is there a way to get around that no I have to hit them so these um rocks that you can see here that have got splits in them you can hit them with something with a hard head like a steracosaurus um 
and I think they're called like stompers. No, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it's creatures like that that you'll need, um, as opposed to um, the parasol office, which is just quite frankly a sprinter. It's your get around to the different locations um, creatures. Whereas other creatures you'll find are waterers, like the Gallimimus you'll get as your first new friend, if you will. And um, the posto Sucus that's around the corner from here. And I have to say, I have been looking for a melanistic or um, an albinistic, um, or an albino, I should say, um, posto Sucus quite a lot, but I've not seen one. And I don't look until I can actively get them, which is not until I get the juicy poppers. Because if I look beforehand and I see one and I can't get it, I'm going to cry. <laughs> As a forewarning. Like a giant baby. But look at this. This is so fun. I just, I, I do love playing this game. I'm excited that I can actually record it now. Um, it means that I, whenever I want to play the game, I can just record and go, okay, I'm recording for a couple of hours. Here we go. So, that is that. Right, I've picked up quite a lot of tat. Uh, we've only got 13, so we can't even turn in the dandelion quest if we get it. So, we're going to keep going until we've got all the dandelions we need. We have got 23 clovers, but we do need, effectively, another 7 dandelions so that we've got enough for both quests. Are these tamma blooms? No, these are non pick balls. Cool. How close are you to leveling, Lucky? I've not been paying attention while riding. Okay, you're over halfway now. So, as I said before, you do gain some XP. And I do mean minimal XP when you're riding the um, dinosaur without sprint. Um, so, it will be a very, very, very slow burn, just as a forewarning. Um, but, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. There should be some clovers right next to the cooking pot. That is. Let's grab those. As I said, better to have more than you need than less. So just grabbing all of this now really isn't in the world because they spawn, or they respawn, I should say. This is just saving me some time. Um, here's some free herbivore food. That's what we like to see. Grab this. Grab this. I'll show you where the post Osuka spawns, and I truly... <sighs> truly hope we don't see an albino or melanistic one, or I will cry. So, I'm hoping that is not the case. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. You have no idea how happy I am to see. There you go. There's your post of uh, We won't be able to get it right now anyway, because you'll need to use a uh, flute, which I do not have. And I don't know if there's anything that will affect their spawns. So, I do need to look into that. Um, so... Like, if you can, like, increase your odds to, like, a shiny charm in Pokemon. I have no idea about that. Uh, there's nothing around here, if I remember, apart from a Dreamstone. There it is. Hey, guys. I'm just grabbing this Dreamstone. Uh, I don't know if there's any more Tulip spawns. Uh, wait, Tulip or Dandelion is what they called. Dandelion. As soon as I saw the image, I was like, oh, that's a Dandelion. Even though they're on the ground, I think they look like Tulips. Oh. Is that a rock or is that just... No, it's just part of the scenery. Not a free rock. Not that we'll need it, trust me. Um, Anything else around here? No, is Owen still at his house? He's still at his house. Great. That makes that part a little bit easier, at least. I'll go speak to Owen. Welcome to my house. Yay. I don't mind. Oh, you kind of yes. Plan this first step. Anyway, maybe I'll see you at Pebble Plaza. If I can finish my to-do list. In the moment, we're a Soros diet. Okay, cool. I'd love to read your work sometime. Oh, really? A show a book, blah, 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 blah. Oh, fear not, Lucky isn't the only parasol that offers out there. How about a mango? Don't think she's tried a mango before. So, parasol office puzzle should now have. Uh, where are we? There we go. That. I didn't pick up another quest. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, there is some mercy here. What was the other quest I had? Me. Those two, yeah, okay, cool. So we'll head into town now. I don't know where the other um, dandelion spawns are. I know that there are some, and I actually think they're closer to Mary's house, um, but we can get that in the evening. And I do want to blitz through the days just so that I've got a more competent um, competent lucky, but it's not the end of the world if I, if I don't. Is that? No, it's not a dandelion. So we'll just make it 
our mission today just to try and get through as much of the quest as possible um we might hit a snag when it comes to the requirement for the dandelions or and or the requirement to go into a new day so that's fine i think there is some stuff up this way as well so we, we can do a loop back round. um lucky's already nearly close to three quarters of the way leveled up it's very useful as i said just do passively while you're doing your dailies anyway or your quests and stuff just ride the dino even if you haven't got any sprint for them are you the wee beaky that moved into the old ranch welcome to paleo pines finally that place needs a good weeding like a weirosaurus needs watermelons my name's agami but everyone around here just calls me granny you must be looking for pebble plaza let me go introduce you to the neighborhood right this way after me i'm yawning again <sighs> god golly but yeah the plan is two hours long for the first episode i said 10 or 20 episodes of an hour long we'll see and then down to half hour which effectively means that you know in the first episode i can fit in four episodes which is quite nice um and it gives me a chance to apologies the chair is really squeaky today <laughs> it gives me a chance to uh just get some content out which is nice but i really wanted to just blitz through the first part of it so that you don't have to sit through all of the same stuff over several episodes that we've already tackled in the demo so you may see me speed along the chat stuff uh effectively they're just introducing me to the town the reason i'm speeding this along as i said it's been in the demo so i've gone over it before uh think of the demo as a prequel multiverse story <laughs> if you uh if you need something to uh hold on to for it milo lord reverend we moved in lovely spot pleasure to meet you he's our woodman take care of everything yep happy housewarming gifts thank you i think he gave me some tools right sensor storage because i'm out of space so i would like to sell so i'm going to introduce myself and sell to Colin. so the pairs as i said give me that much all oh, these only give two okay so that's fine how much does a mango give me wow wow woo we okay 15 that's good to know um as you can see you can just straight up buy that but i'm not going to i'm going to buy myself some food not much because i don't need much at the moment because we've we've got plenty of uh opportunity at the moment i've got some seeds already for spring onions and carrots which is awesome so let's just go over here and go from this i wish there was a way to like level yourself up or increase your stand but i don't see it how are you sleeping in your ranch uh basically um she's staying with someone else because she can't go back to dapplewood and part of the quest is you need to get to dapplewood effectively right so i'm going to go ahead and buy uh 10 carrot seeds uh i will buy ooh, how many spring onion seeds have we already got okay so two that'll take us up to 160 and then the potatoes will take us to 285 so we'll go ahead and get all of these so that just so that we've got stuff ready if you will i'm gonna go introduce myself to pippin but pippin's not there on the first day if i recall we do have a quest currently let's have a look return to the ranch we also have um investigate the path to dapplewood which is what we'll do because on the way we'll see if we can find some dandelions um but we'll just try and burn through as many of the quests as possible Molo will now talk to me and say wait up but the ranch is but oh, this is a bit of a fixer-upper let me uh let me walk you home and see if there's any basic maintenance oh you are literally forcing me home i forgot about that part which means i can't go to dapplewood with quick ease sigh yeah but i think he does give me like a uh, free fence post so it's not the worst thing this old place sure brings back memories feel guilty letting it in such state funny you could have seen what it looked like back in the day still this is for then now is for now that is for then now is for now let's see how beautiful this place can be again okay might i suggest we inc improve lucky's point of paradise so where are we quest selling in collect old fence posts so you gotta go around the thing and you can just i think is it right click yeah hold down right click next to them and you'll pick them up very handy in that regard there's four of them just peppered about and then once you've got them you can place them 
there, there's another thing about this game um the mapping is a bit weird and sometimes your character just gets stuck hello that should be enough take these fence posts out and start using them don't worry we will get past what i deem to be a tutorial soon enough why don't we start over here yeah okay go here and then there gorgeous nothing every pen needs a gate i'll be given a gate which i will take out and place and then you can just rotate it and just remove the thing here place it here that's a pen yay bye 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 lucky <laughs> and we'll skip you walking away because i don't need to sit around for that um i need this but i can't pick it up there we go perfect now we're gonna just go ahead and dump some stuff because we've got so much in our inventory access storage uh you i should have enough stamina left over to start planting which i'm hoping we will uh, i'm gonna go ahead and dump everything but the we'll keep the um dandelions and the uh clovers up here um however what i'm going to need to do is get ready to plant because we have now got 21 5 and 5 um so we'll focus on 10 carrots and then the rest after but we need to just quickly stick this in here we also need to remember that the problem with this is oh i forgot to get my tools out oh no i got them out did i oh not the watering can and the other one the shovel there we go um the problem is i have done this every single freaking time i have started a farm right near lucky's area nowhere near the water which is kind of important both for me and when i get a gallimimus so instead we are making the farm right here i am using my noggin the downside is to plant i don't think i need any um stam but to water i do so currently if i make 10 which is two more i will use up to a lot of eight left over so if we get two more, I will have, so that's 12. I'll have four left over. There we go. Right, I think that that's about it that we can actually get away with. So we'll take out the carrots first. As I said, we'll focus on getting 10 carrots. Everything else is secondary. I'm probably going to use the potatoes as the four other ones because as I said, they take a little while longer than the rest. Um... And that's not ideal so we've got the 10 carrot seeds planted so that we've got the quest ready and get the potatoes out i really wish i had enough stamina for one more unfortunately we don't although i feel like i can get away with using the um tools i just have to basically take a break every time which is kind of funny so we'll get the watering can don't think this uses stamina to refill it right doesn't look like it cool so one to come on Let's just get the i know i should be doing the carrots first but i know that i've got enough so i'm not too concerned wait i do have enough right this isn't six that's five yeah and your character takes little breaks every time you hit like a uh major signifying amount so 25 he goes Hur! and wipes his forehead At, um 10 he just takes us a quick break and just stands still for a second and obviously if you hit zero which you will see right now you can't do much more else without a break but i think i think i can technically so if i was to hit this right every time i do something now i can do it but i take a break which actually isn't bad it just means i can get more done i'm actually okay with this genuinely <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll take out our hoe and just keep doing this bit by bit um i know it takes a long time doing it this way but eh, i'm not too fussed to be honest it's just good to get everything as i said planted and get it out of the way so we'll take up to here yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> but it's got a purpose this way we just get to maximize everything we've got which would be great um if we can get some spring onions then in this one uh there we go this doesn't use stamina as i said it's the watering that will so 
We'll need to get some more water because I think we've only got water. <laughs> I just did the most British water I've ever seen. Oh, no, that's five. But I will need some more afterwards. Oh, didn't water fully. I have to hold it and then wait until I go. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's water. <laughs> I do like this game's um, stamina in that, that you can continue and it's got kind of like a funny little after effect afterwards and I do like that. I do wish there was a way to permanently increase my stamina. I don't know if there is. Um, I know that you're supposed to use dinosaurs to... That didn't... Is that definitely watered? Because that didn't make me drop to my butt. Ah, I ran out of water, so I suppose if I get more water and find out... Uh, let's find out, shall we? There we go, rat thing, but it's definitely watered anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, where is my hoe? We will continue this way. I wonder if I can get all the way across this. Uh, there we go, yeah, we should be able to. Because we've still got 11 carrots on me. And carrots are pretty quick growers, so it'll be nice to be able to get what effectively is quite a quick profit. Um, and it is starting to get late. I think this is the latest I've played in, a game, in this game. Because usually I'm done like five minutes into the um, day. Because all I'll do is I'll just use all my XP um, stamina up and just make it a new day. Just speed everything along. But we'll, we will do that at points. But for now, it's just about experiencing bit by bit. And I'm okay with that. So I think I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's make it ten. How many did I have? 11. So, we just need to find ourselves an 11th slot. Here. And then we need to water. So, let's keep that in mind. That's going to take a moment or two. Oh, but yes, I uh, am excited to continue playing this game. I've been excited for its release for a very long time now. And we are going to just... Play the game normally and also um, do some small guide videos, I think, because I do have some, as I said, we, we've gone over some small tips, how to make money quickly, some XP, but I'll probably do like full videos on that sort of stuff. Um, what I need to do now is um, research each of these while they're in their growing phase. So we have you, and then we have a potato, and then we will um, water them. So we're just going to scroll through till we find our watering can. That's a shovel. That's a hoe. Okay. Two, three, four, five. There we go, five. Five is the watering can. I don't know what time it is. How do you check the time of day? I don't know. I swear it used to be up there. But okay, so it's not night time yet, but it is evening. So we've got a little bit of time. I wish there was a way to just speed the animations up or just like stun lock yourself out of the animation. That'd be great. I guess if I run out of water, that's what was the giveaway. But there's no way to refill one each time. And even then, that would be slower anyway. So who knows? <sighs> Wilder. And done. <laughs> there's going to be a bit of this. Uh, water and done. And done. Uh, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Oh. I am hoping... I've remembered to do something. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, I've not changed that setting, so it should be fine. Now, what my concern was, we recently recorded with uh, Be Even Excited. Um, and so I had to set my action, which is my recording software, to a different setting that I usually would use. Um, I'm pretty sure I changed it all back. And by the looks of it, I have. So we're all good. Now... My character's walking weirdly. There we go. We're going to head back to base and we're going to go to sleep. Because that's what we need to really do right now. And writing diary. Keep playing. Be very careful because every time I get close to click and go to sleep. It'll be a new day. We will need to water all our plants again, but we'll have stamina, which is nice. <laughs> we do have a lot of stuff to water though, so bear that in mind also i'll be able to get more experience and lucky okay this is a skip what have you found looks like my old flute i used to play this all the time yeah okay inventory to equip my flute 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Play a longer note. Yep. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. And then let go. Oh, right. I got pressed two. To follow me. Three, three, three. To stay here. One, one, one. To get his attention. And four, four, four. To do what you were doing. Still got it. Maybe I never had it. I'll keep practicing. I've got weeds to pick up at some point. Oh, yeah, I know. You're going to be slow as hell walking here. Bark my branches. Did you hear that noise? Am I going flappy? My flute. Oh, that was you. Keep practicing. <laughs> anyway. As soon as that. Carrot seeds time. You gave me more carrot seeds. Good Lord. Okay. Isn't that great? So. Grow at least 10 carrots. Take the carrots to granite and garme. Yeah, Okay. So got more seeds. So what I could do right now, if I was feeling adventurous, which I kind of am, I'm not going to lie, I could plant more of them. So, with that in mind, I do want lucky quickly. So, oh, stop sprinting. Sprinting uses stamina. <laughs> Take your finger away from that, because uh, we're going to need that all to water. Um, Just so I don't have to constantly keep doing things. But hey. And with lucky, we're just going to hit each of the things we can. Uh, we should have a level on the next hit, which is nice. There we go. Boom. Boom. And then we'll just clear these ones over here. I should be able to get three of these disappeared, which I'm going to. Like so. One more. And that will be Lucky's max amount of leveling I can get right now. Um, we will be riding Lucky a bit later on, obviously, into town and just... Uh, going from there but obviously we haven't got any more quests we really need to do right now um they will come with a bit more time so all we're going to do now is just do this um there is some farming mechanics in the game in terms of how the each of the crops react differently to different types of soil so that's kind of interesting and also the seasons and they give you more about uh higher quality stuff etc so it has got it has got mechanics which is really cool had it hold up where are you come back there all right so just gonna go ahead and place these down and then we'll start watering also make sure if you see any weeds on your plants pick the weeds up as soon as you can because i'm pretty sure it inhibits their growth which can be a bit of a nightmare but we're fine for now also the carrots and the um potatoes do share the exact same like starting model so if we go to our one spring onion potato carrot so they share the same the spring onion doesn't which is for obvious reasons um it has a different sprouting root i guess but <laughs> so there is that right we're gonna probably run out of water before we even finish this line aren't we yes so we're gonna get about up to come on water finish watering i wish i could just click it and it'd be done but i have to hold it the entire time which is wild but here we are all right i need to get water I have 29 stamina. I will have significantly less than 29 stamina once we're finished here. In fact, we might use up all of our stamina and then have a few whoa, wobbly moments. Which isn't ideal, but hey, here we are. And the reason that I use Lucky every single day to just constantly hit things um, and break things throughout the um, ranch is because, to be quite frank, the more XP Lucky has, the more you can use Lucky to sprint around, which is just a time saver massively so um and obviously you can also hit more things get clear your uh, ranch out significantly faster so there is a purpose this i'm doing this farming spree because i want loads of shells <laughs> i want to be prepared for all the different quests where you need to give things and so on and so forth so there is that right we are going to run out of um stamina I did sprint three earlier, which I think would have been the right amount needed. So that's on me. But that's fine. When we run out of stamina, as I said before, all I've got to do is just water and fall down, water and fall down. So based on what I have left, I think had I not sprinted earlier, I would have had the right amount. So, or just shy of, I should say. It's not the end of the world. We'll fall over, get back up fall over get back up that's fine 
but I can't sprint anymore and I'm not too fussed about that because we're just going to ride Lucky into town or about I suppose we've got some pears to collect um, and find some more dandelions uh, we'll head into town because I'm pretty sure Pippin might show up now or it might be after that we get the carrots that Pippin shows up um, and you do need to hold on to a carrot for Pippin and you also need to hold on to I think 20 carrots for a stew that you have to make um, so there is that right let's get rid of the weeds I don't think you can sell them I don't know what you can do with them but we'll just stick them in there but I will keep these on me because sometimes you have quests for them so that's fine and let's go pick up some carrots um carrots um I will get there eventually pears and maybe some free dino food while I'm out there but we'll get lucky closer to leveling up which is also really really good because you can see lucky's about six tenths of the way there so three quarters of the way after this will be a very very big win as you can see we have a quest so we speak to Owen. I'm going to stay in Constitutional. Mary said if you find her, and I'm pretty sure by finding Mary, we will get our next quest on the creature route, which is to basically um, unlock uh, the Gallimimus tame, which is good. And we'll probably will go do that um, after we've taken a small trip into town. As I said, just to get a little bit of extra Wonga. Quite nice. We've got some pears. Uh, oh, and the dandelions. We need to pick those up so that we've got those ready. Can't remember whose quest that was for. Um, I think it was um, the guy that sells you uh, uh, like the food and stuff. I can't remember his name. The the evasive guy. Not the evasive guy or the abrasive. I don't know which word I was looking for, but the, the quiet guy. There we go. Um, he offers like seeds. Not seeds. Um, the full vegetable and uh dino food but he needs 20 and then you need five of each for um building the enclosure for the gallimimus so let's have a look 24 and 28 yeah we've got enough um we've even nearly got enough for the enclosure for the gallimimus and the um strachosaurus down the line but to get the strachosaurus you need to have a juicy pippin so let's keep that in mind I can get more clovers, but I'll, I'll get that on a different day so that we can get all of them at once. I'm just going to head over to Mary now. Um, and then on the way back, we'll go to town. No, we'll go to town first. Why not? Look at that. Look at that. Look at the Psittosauruses. Psittos I don't know how to pronounce their names. Let's see if Pippin, Poppin, Pepin, Papin is in, in town today. Yes, they are. Lovely. Right, I'm... Arlo's up there with them, so what I'll do is quickly chat to you. I don't think you've got a quest yet, actually. About to go on break. Good for you. Uh, we'll sell these three pairs that we got this time, which will give me 30. Lovely jubbly. No, I don't. I, I didn't mean to click you. Thank you. Bye. I'll go up here. Initiate that. I should get some poppins for free. Pippins makes poppins, yes. How do we describe a case? Sweet. Yes, please. Yeah, go for a thing of, oh, okay, I suppose I can give you one for free. Speak to Arlo quickly. Oh, I'll meet you in the tent because you got to wait. Pop in anyone? Uh, no. Okay, so I can't unlock the sweet pop in yet. Oh, my God. Mate, I have no stamina and I'm going triple, no, four times your pace. That is horrific. Sort your life out. Come on. I have to just run circles until you're at your place. There we go. Right, cool. Chat. Continue me. It's a bit, bit rough with the bat dappled path blocked. Would you have 10 stone you can give me? Yes. See, this is why I do this. He gives me fences in return. So keep your get, keep stuff on you because you've constantly got quests you need. Sometimes it really is worth going to this community board because you can find some that will give you some decent rewards. For example, this is 70 um for four fiber and i think i actually have some on me so i could get pear and cranberries right now uh wood spring onion seeds uh garlic i do not have a notebook will give me a free saddle that is huge because that's 250 shells worth fiber so if i accept this one first can i accept multiple i can cool so if i go up here i should be able to just 
hand this in immediately. Uh, do I have fiber on me? Yes, I only have four though. It's interesting to note. Chat. There you go. Please accept this. No worries. So I only have one fiber left. Um, so I can't do any more of the fiber quests. That Owen quest, I actually have to go to Owen to unlock. So let's go to... I don't this again. Uh, what was this? Deliver a notebook. Accept. Fiber, fiber, wood. And that will just give me some spring onion seeds. The worst thing in the world. Okay, so if I go to the quest line now for that saddle. I've got to collect it from Owen. Deliver it to Pippin. So Owen spawn, I have no idea where. Because Owen sometimes is at his house, sometimes he's not. And sometimes he's not even on the map. That could be a pain. Let's have a quick look. He's at his house. We're going to his house. We're not going to Mary first because that will be a conversation and that will move him um, to possibly places unknown. So I'd rather avoid that. I would like to see if I can find more dandelion spawns because I don't know the ones that I've shown off effectively. But hey, we'll go from there. And I think once I got the Strachosaurus, uh, the Gallimimus, I should be able to speak to Pippin at some point and get the thing I require for a Straco. Um, rather than making a fresh um, pen each time, I've just found that you can stick those three, the Straco, the Galley, and of course Lucky, the Parasaur, into the same enclosure with no concerns. It just needs a little bit of expansion, and that's it. So there is that. Right, uh, oh, I've gone well past Owen's house. I've gone into a world of my own, and he's gone. I don't know where. This is what annoys me about this game. Where is he? At home, or question, question, question. I'm going to have to pause the game and Google, because I really can't be bothered. <laughs> that is so annoying. That's another thing about this game. I... I absolutely did. Oh, there's more dandelions. I do detest um, the schedule for the characters because they don't travel. They just teleport like uh, the Dragon Ball Z. Just I'm here. I'm gone. It's it's, it's malarkey. Um, so I'm I'm quite frankly agitated as all hell with that. Because now if I want to find him, I'm going to have to go to Google and say, where's Owen? Paleo Pines, where's Owen? And I swear to God, if he's in an area you can't get to, like, oh, he's in Dapplewood. No, he's not. That's a bad game, but we'll find out. Middle of a really valley next to a pond. No, no. Where's Owen? Not at house. Oh, whatever. Let's click on his profile on the thing. Yep. At home or at Pebble Plaza. Okay, so he's actually at Pebble Plaza right now, which means he could be delivering it for himself. And still give me the reward, though, yeah? I wish there was a fast travel. I really do. And people, I think someone said to me, well, Lucky is fast travel. <laughs> no, Lucky is not fast travel. <laughs> Lucky is fast-ish travel, but not fast-er travel. Okay, I'm glad we got the dandelions, but by the time I probably get to Pebble Plaza, he'll be back at home. As you can see, I'm glad I checked before going all the way. He's teleported back home. So we're going to speak to him. There we go. Thanks, Lucky. Take this notebook to Agami. And look, he's got another quest I can pick up. Pippin. Okay, so journal. Quests. Oh, I've got two notebooks I need to deliver. Okay, that's actually kind of convenient. One for Agami and one for um, Pippin. As we can see, Lucky is now 75% of the way done. Which is awesome. Um, so that's convenient as hell. There's the Gallimimus and Mary, which we'll do after we've done our little delivery quest, because I'm pretty sure I'm getting some rewards for this. Can't remember what each of them were, to be honest. Uh, I think one was shells and one was a saddle. Or, or one was seeds and one was a saddle. But convenient, so we'll do it. Two delivery quests in one is always great, especially when it's from the same person in delivering to the same location. Oh, wunderbar. Let's go ahead and speak to our people. You first. Chat. I know, but thanks for bringing it. No worries. 
And then up here. Nearly there. Perfect. Chat. My notebook. Thanks for bringing it to me. Bye. <laughs> and then we'll head out. Do the quests replenish? I am curious. Because I felt like it did earlier when that villager went up to it. But I don't know if that's like actively dynamic or if it's just... Uh, it didn't replenish and by picking up another quest I kicked the other one off. But I've got two quests currently so I don't know if one of them's from the notice board or not. I've just pet lucky instead of getting onto lucky. That's fine. The risk I have now is by the time I get there he's probably going to head into town. I do miss my sprint. But don't worry, lucky's now actually eight tenths of the way there. Which is crazy because by the end of the day we could hit level five. Um, you can get it like a lot quicker than that. Like you guys can just skip through days, constantly hitting stuff, and then continue on with the quests if you want. Um, which I kind of wish I did do, but I'm glad that we're just powering through and just getting stuff done, which is nice. Um, where is his house? I've already gone past it, haven't I? Nope, it's right here. Don't you dare teleport away while I'm right here. I will commit several war crimes in your name if you do. Fantastic. Please accept this. Saddle times two. Oh, there were two quests for saddles. Okay. That effectively is 500 shells. I've just saved myself. Down the line. Um, and considering the Gallimimus gets a free saddle anyway. Because um, you... When you get the Gallimimus, um, there's a saddle in the enclosure anyway. Lucky's enclosure. So you can actually get that for free. So that's awesome. Um... Just make sure I've got stuff, space in my inventory for what I need to do next, which I do. Because I'll get given some items to feed to the Gallimimus when trying to tame it. Ah, <sighs> lovely jubbly. And once you've tamed that, I believe your taming unlocks... You can unlock several different things. I don't think you can tame a Styracosaurus until prompted to, though. But after that, it's just... You can tame whatever you want. Although I feel like you'll probably be told, oh, you can't tame, like story driven characters or monsters until you can so there is that that dark green's a lovely color over here these get they're super skittish glad you spotted sure i'll help you out equip your flute which is three three i think yep yeah. so three to equip it no it was two one 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 to get its attention i want this dark green one because it's quite an interesting color set so one 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 And then its friend call will be one, two, three, four. Okay. One. Okay. I got it. One, two, three, four. Make me have to click everything. Wild. Three, four. There we go. Okay, I can't wait. You and me for good friends. I can feel it. Oh, I'm this is it. Yeah, let's see if we can get its trust. Pockets are full. Did you just take out all my stuff? Oh, you'll hold on to it, I see. So feed, spring onion thing. If I've lost my items, I promise you I'm going to find a mod for the game to actively murder. <laughs> eh, you didn't like that. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Feed. Oh, carrots. Why did you need to empty my inventory? Because you're taking away the items every time. So there's no real need. Good lord, right. Anyway, that's a 50% chance of befriending it. Give it another carrot, and then I'll need to soothe it afterwards. I know how this works. Because, like, I'm getting my inventory cleared, so I only need one item free. You have cleared out three items when I had two space, so you made it so that I had five inventory spaces free, and I definitely didn't need that. Now I'll soothe it, and it should take us to the perfect green segment, which is a 100% success. Have a friend because I have a pop in. There we go. And just like that, the Gallimimus will now be tamed. There's no way to skip this. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Go XLR is not working. That's very weird. Uh, I really hope my audio is coming through then. I can't mute. I wanted to have a vape. <laughs> um, galley. 
There we go. Different to the Switch one, but not quite. Amazing. Here's me with researching dinosaurs for years. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Did you give me my items back? You did. Great. Because I'd have been slightly miffed had you not. Right. We will now take Lucky back to base. Um, as well as, of course, Gally, the new Agalamimus friend. It will have some uses in terms of um, watering. So I'm very excited for that. Um, and then eventually just sprint central. Wait, what's this place? Oh, that's Dapplewood. Uh, not Dapplewood. Um, thing is just coming from a different angle than I usually do, which makes it look a bit interesting. It's kind of wild that my GoXLR isn't allowing me to mute, but it's still producing the audio. So that's kind of wild. But I don't know if me changing the volume on things is actually going to work then, but I don't know. I digress. I also... Let me just see if it's just the buttons not lighting up. Hello. Hello. No, no, no. It's definitely not muting. Kind of wild. This is my house, right? Yeah. Cool. You have a new home now. I just have to lead you to it. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and uh, check the space of it. So, I need to get out my thing. One, one, one. Follow me. Come on, follow me. Oh, good lord. That was some weird lag. One, two, three. Then if I go in here, this is your home, which is three, three, three. But I need to get a dreamstone down, which is in here. And then we need all of the stuff like fiber, which I don't think I have any of, which is kind of a shame to be able to um, make it into an enclosure for him. So, why won't it let me equip this? There we go. Then, stop. Go here. I can add all of this. Confirm. All of this. Confirm. All this. Confirm. It's just fiber we don't have enough for. We need nine more, which we should be able to get tomorrow with um, Lucky. I do need to uh, quickly scan our... Galamimus for the journal. And then, yes. Uh, oh, one more thing I can do is give it a carrot, but I don't have any. I do have a mango. And I think they're the same in terms of being juicy. I don't know if it will want it, but we'll see. I will uh, quickly um, take out the clover and thing again, because we will need it. Um, as well as any fiber, but I don't have any, so we're just going to quickly write in diary and then keep playing, start a new day. I'm going to see if I can just move away from the microphone so we can take a quick puff of vape. No idea if that got picked up. Apologies if so. Yeah, I know. Hello. I will go... Oh, I just wasted stamina. That's fine. Um, wasting stamina is fine because um, we don't really need to worry about that too much. Right, so if I want to get fiber... I need to hit the buckets, but Lucky's leveled up again. Lovely. Fiber. Very small amounts at the moment. Just the rope and the bucket rope. That will give me fiber. And then I should be able to, once I've got all the fiber I need, upgrade that to an actual usable point. Uh, come on, one more. Uh, well, one more after that. No, 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 not that one. Ah. Oh. How much do I have now? Five. Yay. Great. That's exactly why I didn't want you to do that. You stupid, stupid parasol. I wanted the fiber one. Ugh. Right. Confirm. Right. Well, tomorrow. I feel like you get a lot less from these than you did in the demo. Because uh, I am 100% like miss feeling like I'm missing stuff. Just throwing that one out there. But anyway... So we go over to him, he'll basically tell you, oh, you got to make an enclosure for it. Yeah, I'm doing that. All right. <laughs> Let's grab these weeds quickly, actually. Okay, and then we'll go to you. I'm good, thanks. Bye. 
approached the Gallimimus with the journal in hand. It's almost like I scanned it. Wow. Bye. <laughs> oh, pet galley's nose. Okay. I know that will um, increase our friendship and trust, which is important. Um, and he says to check back in tomorrow. I didn't pick out the mango. I'm stupid. That's on me. Two, three, four, five. There we go, five. Okay. I've got eight before I need to pick up more water. So there's that. I wonder if I have to reset its home location again. I'm not too sure on that. Now, I could go into town um, and move on with the quests, obviously, but I just want to grab some pears today and then head back. Um, we're not going to take too long. I just want to move things along quite quickly. I'm just going to grab the water from this and head on to you and wilder it. The good thing is, the more as this game goes on, as I record, the less repetitive it's going to feel because I've streamed this section, I've recorded this section, I've then streamed this section again, effectively, once the demo was done. So, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I'm, I'm to the point that I've done this so many times now. <laughs> My brain's like, oh yeah, that conversation, a bajillion things I don't need to know because I already know it. You know? So, apologies if I'm seeing a bit short with the characters, but... And said the, the people aren't what make this game. In fact, I would say that they're probably one of the biggest attractions of this game. Um, not that they're bad, it's just they don't have much to them. You know, that they're, they're, they're there for a purpose, which is quest lines. <laughs> and maybe selling stuff. And that's about it. You don't feel like you're getting close to any of them. Maybe that's because I've been spoiled for choice with games that do have that lately, but I don't know. I might actually have enough stamina. Afterwards, good lord. Well, I guess I'll have to do maths, but that's another five, eight, and well, seven now. But okay, yeah, we'll have enough. Could you grab it? Oh god, the hitbox in this game as well. So so finicky. I almost feel like a controller is probably more beneficial, which is wild for a farming game. But it's just like the minutiae of the movements is just so painful. Yeah, I get it. You, you're you're tired. You've got less than ten. Woo! Don't need to do that. Cool, right. A booped dice snoot. Another thing you can do to increase their um, friendship for the day is give them their friendship call, which is... There we go. Let's go over to him now. Not that, him. That's increased it a little bit. So, enjoyed being petted. Great. If I could run over here quickly, I'm not too fussed about using up stamina. I don't know where Lucky's gone. It should still say two. It does say two. Uh, Galley prefers a valley biome. I haven't given them a valley biome yet. That's fine. Where is my lucky? There you are. So, oi, get here. We're going to get some pears and then we're going to skip to the next day. And try and get some more fiber tomorrow. I could buy fiber, I'm aware, but just skipping it so that we got a closer chance to stuff being planted. Um, although I might pop into town quickly to see if that quest is unlocked, which requires the clovers and the stuff, just so I can offload as much as possible. There we go. Three whole pairs. That will give me 30 buccarinos. Oh, that's four. I didn't notice the fourth one. And some more veggie food, which is useful. How much veggie food do I have on me? One, which means I must have either stuck it in or put it in the storage. Which is going to be a thing. Because now we're going to have two um, vegetarian food. That we need to effectively give them a day. Another downside to this game is there's no crafting so to speak. Which I really am not a fan of. <laughs> anyway. Can I offer anything for you? If I go to chat now you should give me that. Which is my uncle's budding day. Sure here you go. Sure you can pay me in carnival food. Uh, which I could keep hold of. If I sell I only get. 250 um but i don't quite want to sell them because they have got a purpose down the line when we get a carnival um if i wanted to speed things along i could grab some of these vegetables now as you can see these are one star so they've got some use um but for now i'm not too fussed about them uh and then we'll go over here you don't have a quest damn which means i don't have that unlocked yet then that's a darn shame oh well live laugh love I'm going to have so many carrots after this. It's insane. But yeah, if you want to craft stuff or get stuff crafted, you have to go into town and then buy them. And, and as well as buying them, give them the items required to craft it. 
kind of feels like you're being scammed, personally. Uh, throwing that out there. So you have to have loads and loads of materials and then loads of bells as well. Uh, are you going to be talking about the Styracosaurus taming? I think you might be. Anyway, Lucky, yeah, 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 yeah. who knows? What's Lucky's favourite food? Ah, uh, let's go beetroot, just so I can get beetroot for free. Okay, this is just a research post, whatever. That might have been the trigger for Pippin, I don't know. It might just be moving along with the quest, maybe when you get the carrots, actually. That makes more sense. But I've just picked up some free herbal food. I could have bought some while I was out there, but I think we've got enough for now. Memory serves me. And just by walking around a bit, we've got lucky up to basically three quarters of the way done. Which is lovely. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some herbal food in. So I can actually take inventory on how much we've got. So we've got enough for five days. And that's plenty. Now, I don't know what happens if you increase each of your dinosaurs' friendship past the point that you actually need to be able to access them. I don't know. Keep playing and sleep. And once again, I'm going to lean away. And take a puff of the odd vape. Seeds are blown onto the ranch, so it's a day where seeds blow onto the ranch, funnily enough. I'm going to pet and then going to dig up the poop because that will affect their happiness. I didn't see if he, um, he became a friend, but based on the fact that we did not get the GE option to add a saddle, I'm going to assume not. Um, need to add fiber. There we go. Well, we'll get lucky out. I think we have some carrots that are available to be harvested as well, which is really good. So I'll be picking up some seeds, which will allow me to um get some more anyway. Um, so plant some more. I mean, or stone. Let's just grab these seeds that are around the place. They're spring onion seeds, but yeah, they've got a purpose. Right, let's get rid of the stuff that I know is going to give me fiber. E.g. that. Do you give more fiber or less? I don't know. That was just a carrot seed. Wow. That's fine. Anyway, Lucky has leveled up, so we'll just keep going. So I'm pretty sure I've now got the minimum required fiber. I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick the fiber in quickly. So we can get that done. And I'm going to just start dumping stuff out because we need to get some free space. Large Valley. There you go. You've now got that. And then... Say you who to you. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the requirement we need for you to be a friend. Uh, would love more pen mates. Okay. What was yours? What a great pen. Really liked hearing music today. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. Lucky. <laughs> but fortunately, even with all the stuff I'm picking up, I um, shouldn't need the need to um, like completely replant all of this because we're going to get a lot from this. So I'm just going to quickly start dumping stuff. Although, I, as I said, I like keeping stuff on me. I don't need the carnival food right now, and I can't imagine I'll need the fertilizer right now. Uh, stone we'll probably need, but I don't think that's enough for what we could need it for anyway. So in fact, we're just going to get rid of all of this. The weeds we definitely don't need. Uh, we'll keep the plant seeds and the beetroot can go away. Just going to go ahead and start harvesting. The harvesting, of course, takes stamina. Um, so effectively, right now, if I wanted to replant one in every single one of these locations that I'm harvesting from, the harvest takes one. The rehoeing takes one, and then the watering takes one. So that's three per individual, which is insane. Um, so we, we will plant some back, but we're not going to plant everything back because we don't need to. Trust me, we're going to have enough carrots for days. And if they're higher quality, even better. I will feed one or two to um, the Gallimimus just to increase the friendship a little bit more, just in case that we're just under, just so that when tomorrow starts, we will have a new mount effectively. Perfect. So now if I go to, is it three, four, five for the watering? I will water the ones that are not dug up. I will need to dig those up. I think these ones can be done with a Stracosaurus, those dug up ones. But I don't know how to you actually um, sow or not sow, um, hoe the ground or till the ground fresh with a Stracosaurus, even though it's a tiller type. 
I'm guessing that's the type that you can do that with. That hole, effectively, maybe. That would make sense. Okay, oh, uh, come on. Keep planting water. So, as I said, if I wanted to replant all these seeds, I should realistically just till more ground, but I feel like you get better quality if you just um, till the ground that it's already been planted in. So, it's worth noting. Five left. Yeah, I know. How much stamina left them have you? Right, so, bearing that in mind, we have currently got nine seeds. So, let's just quickly go to our hoe. There we go. Now, if I want to use that, I can. But I'm just going to just do this all for the hoeing. That's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's just quickly... Yeah, I know. You're tired. Plant these all. And what we'll do is we'll turn into granny today. Because I'm pretty sure I'll be given more seeds. Um, so we'll need to replant stuff. But that's fine. Jobs are good. In. One more. Five for the watering can. We haven't got enough to water. So we'll go ahead and grab some more water. And we'll have to do this painstakingly slowly. Yep, yeah, fall over. Woohoo. Get up. You get the idea. This is just effectively, we're going to have so many shells by the end of this. Um, it's going to be redonkulous. Okay. And we will have a carrot left over. Uh, regardless of what we do with the rest. Because I think we actually have loads. Yeah, I have 106 carrots. And they sell for two apiece, so... It's not loads of money. Um, but if I remember correctly, like... Tier, like, one star, two star, they do sell for a lot. So it's kind of crazy. How much they do sell for, but... Uh, when you get better quality. Yeah, I know. Done. Great. Fantastic. I can actually move now. Uh, lovely. Right, so let's continue. We're going to actually have five short of um, having the right amount that we need to use it only on the digging things. Oh, there we go. So we can actually get a little bit of uh, freedom from that. So let's just open this up. Uh, we'll keep the carrots on me. We don't need these right now. I think think we don't need these so we'll just go ahead and ride onwards if we get like a mission like oh go buy some of this or go pick up some of this wood or stone or stuff i'll be like damn it <laughs> but i'm not too fussed if we get a quest like that right that's four right yes four pairs lovely four pairs of what ah <laughs> right i am very glad that we actually got two quests that allowed us to just get two saddles off the bat that that's our Staracosaurus and maybe something else just done um so that's convenient as all heck right let's have a look chat takes 10 carrots from me gives me 10 potato seeds and 10 carrots back by the looks of it which is kind of crazy um we've got potatoes already planted i will probably plant them again because i'm pretty sure you need to plant them Nope, you don't. And your quest is not ready yet. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, yeah, just trying to sell Poppin still. I do need to go to the Dapplewood path so I can click, tick that off. Um, do I have to buy a Poppin from you? I don't remember what it is for the trigger, to be honest. Regardless, let's trade. Oh, okay. It's four. I was completely doing my maths wrong. Anyway, uh, let me do my request of how much do I want from this? So I want to keep... I've got 107. I want to sell 87. Then sell that. Max. Okay. Confirm. Lovely jubbly. Right. Oh, I didn't want to sell that many. Ah. I did my maths wrong. I'll buy one back, please. Confirm. You'll be back. Yeah, I like that confidence. That's how many I need. I know we've got more carrots planted, so I didn't really need to do that, but... Eh, it's fine. 
How much money do we have now? 503. So not too bad. Not actually the most I have. On my Twitch one, I got like 2k. 45 shells, carrot seeds, shells and carrot seeds, crunchy popping. Shells 110. Okay. That's actually not bad for a small amount of effort. So we will go to Owen. Wait a second. Go to my map. You in town? We'll get not out there, apparently. Which completely doesn't make sense because he's either in Pebble Plaza or at his house. But if I go to maps now, he's at his house. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. So we'll go to Owen's house. By the time we get there, he won't be there. I know what my luck's like. And I'll head back to Pebble Plaza to find him and he won't be in Pebble Plaza because he'll be back at his house. It's all gravy, really. Speaking of gravy, I'm getting quite hungry. <laughs> IRL. Don't know what I fancy. Something. Maybe a Subway. I know Subway sandwiches, sandwiches ain't great, but I just got that craving, you know? It's a craving that can't be hit. And Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Lovely. Right, okay. I think he's going to give me a new quest anyway, by the looks of it. No, this is so frustrating. Thanks to the week. Yeah, there we go. I'll get some. Look. Paperweight. See, look. Uh, another quest. <laughs> right, so go to journal. Quests. Go to Mary. Go that. Also, got to give him five stones. See, if I'd had the five stones, I could have just turned that quest in and it would never have been a problem. Damn it. Where's Mary right now? Across. With the Gallimimus area ish but by the time i get there possibly not so we'll play it by ear because you know she'll probably teleport oh it's just turned to midday so she's probably changed paths well he has at least uh owen's gone so i think he's now inside the plaza which i kind of wish it would show you on the map that he's in there so you don't have to panic every second where he's gone also, I wonder if the change in time of day, like, changes the dino spawns. I'm not too sure. I know that obviously some will spawn at certain times of day, but I don't know if, like, it, it forces a respawn so the colours change. Who knows? Right. You're also going to try and give me a stupid quest before I can turn the other quest in. There we go. Or maybe not. Thank God. Right. I think Owen is currently in the plaza, so we'll see if we can find him before it changes time. Not too sure if that's the case. I, I was thinking of making this episode between 90 minutes to 2 hours. That is still the plan, I can assure you. But um, I'm so tempted to make it 90 minutes, just so that I can get some food and a vape. But what I'll do is I'll try and last as long as I can, and then look up and see what the time is. But we are approaching the 90 minute mark, which is awesome. Uh, so yes. Journal. That quest is done. That gave me some pretty reasonable wonga. We'll go investigate the Dapplewood path. And then probably speak to whoever else that requires me to. Just so we can move that quest along. I'm already like day four still. Like I don't think I got to this point by like day 10, 11, 12. I can't remember. Because usually I just like blitz through Lucky's stamina to level them up. Um, constantly and then just go to a new day, level them up. New day, level them up. Rinse, repeat. A hundred times fold. Uh, map. Okay, so it's actually a little bit this way. It's a nice little pond right here. I can actually investigate this for a thing. Oh, look at that. My character's stuck. Look at that. Yeah, that happens a lot, as I said. The mapping on this game is, um, quite frankly, diabolical. Uh, I, I, I truly mean that. Like, it's pretty damn bad. <laughs> Uh, it's not Jurassic World Evolution too bad. Uh, I'll give it that. But it's just like, uh, it can get. And then when the camera angle, it's like, whoa. Right, so if we go over here, it should be a rock. This rock requires to be hit three times. And at the last time, I um, kind of used the stamina up for the Staraco before getting here. So I'll try to remember to do it here and then go back. But Staraco takes forever. This must be the path. Sorry, Lucky. That's fine. Quest. Talk to Granny, find the parasaur, clear the boulder. Yeah, so I think now that's unlocked the next set of quests. I think for Mary, we'll probably talk about Stratosauruses. And or we might have also unlocked... Um... Nope, nope, nothing for you. That's fine. 
um, but it might have unlocked um, Pippin. I don't know. So we'll have a quick little drop in while we're here. After that, we'll head home and uh, skip to the next day because I think the, to unlock that, we actually need to make the Gallimimus a helper. So yeah, it's not unlocked. I thought so. That is fine. Off we go, Lucky. On the way home. Taking all of the sights. Nah, not really. Let's just head straight home. <laughs> if I line it up perfectly, I'm pretty sure. There we go. There's some herbable food. I can quickly look away and take a... That's not home. That's home. Take a quick vape. If the audio is being picked up, my bad. But if it's not, then great. Uh, did we get more stuff we can plant? We did. Do I really want to have to go through 20 fall down get ups every single time for each of those? No, I freaking do not. Oh, more seeds. Lovely. Right. Let's go to my storage first. Dump the seeds. Uh, I will quickly go. Oh, actually. Hang on. Get the herbivore food I have on me. And just pop it in there. I think from our journey alone today, we got two days worth of food. So that's kind of crazy in one day. Um, so you can, of course, get it, you know, what you need out in the wild for free. But it just, you save yourself some time by not doing that. Keep playing and go to sleep. Pretty sure we should have a helper today. That Gallimimus has been sated, I'm pretty certain. There we go. There's the galley. Oh, I just sprinted. I didn't want to do that. Galley's now help looking around the ranch for a saddle. Oh, you mean like this? Equip this saddle and put it on the galley. So, ugh. Okay, tell you what, just go to my saddle. Here we go. There we go. Pet you. Don't need to really, so I'll just ride. So, we start off with 40 stamina. I've got a bunch of stuff I can plant right now. However, <laughs> I can also just water. Uh, not plant, um, harvest and plant, to be fair. The watering is so much faster with the Gallimimus. As you can see, the Gallimimus walks really slowly, but we just do this. As you can see, everything that needs to be watered has been watered, bar a little bit by the looks of it. I did use up, I think, 25 stamina. So, there. But we managed to get all of them apart from that one in the corner, which I'll just quickly water myself. And then we'll quickly harvest all of these carrots. Um, effectively, they're nice and quick, actually, because these are the ones that I replanted. Which I think I replanted yesterday, right? Or the day before. So they're like one or two days, which means they did regrow quickly, which means I think these are one stars. Because I mean, they were pla placed in retailed soil. Were they? No, maybe not. Anyway, we've got 72 carrots now, which is more than enough. Um, we can quickly just dump these in. From my understanding, the stars do drop down if you don't um, use them within this period of time. This is kind of wild. I'm going to quickly just do all this and plant those 10. Um, is this 10? This will be 10 once we've got that one done as well. Um, potatoes. So, there we go. I don't remember if it tells you when you plant or when it gets harvested that if it was done in the right soil. I can't remember. Regardless, that's all of these planted. Now, if I wanted to get the other stuff as well, how much seeds do I have? A singular one of those. I'm not too fussed about that. So, let's find Lucky. And use up Lucky stamina. The galley stamina, we will um, probably use the galley to ride around. Um, rather than Lucky today. Just so that we can uh, get the galley up a bit. Because we've got loads to water and I'd rather have a lot of that. And the, I feel like the Gallimimus is slightly faster. Could be wrong on that. Okay, there was two there apparently. One spot. So just we're not really doing any rhyme or reason to the where we're putting this. We're just doing it for ease of access. There we go. Lucky's leveled up. 
Got some more stamina, which we can just pummel into this. And like so. We'll have enough stones now as well. Uh, oh, actually, hold up. Lucky, you've got five left over, so let's just waste it. For a bit of XP. Lovely. And then the galley. Um, we will ride about. Now, I am going to use the sprint. As you can see, the sprint for this guy just takes his level up quite a bit quicker, which is nice. Uh, I have got the stones on me, which is good because that means I can go give that to um, Owen. I think it's his house right now. He is. Two more. And we go one more and done. Right, so out of stam now until we level up. It should be any second, to be honest. It's not exactly going to be a long day. I feel like we have probably now got to the point we can start moving along in terms of getting the Starachosaurus prepped or ready. Which would be nice. Uh, so there is that. There it is. Galley's leveled up. That gives me a little bit more stamina, which means I can just move along a little bit quicker. Here we go. Here's your paperweights. But I'm guessing you're going to try and give me another freaking quest. Yes. Generosity. What have you just given me? Potatoes. Cool. Actually kind of useful. And you didn't give me a new quest, which makes me even happier. Admittedly, you can probably get more XP with the Gallimimus right now just by going back and watering more, but eh, it's fine. Just got to move along and go from there. Uh, we're going to have a quick check up on any further quests, and if we haven't got any, we'll have a look at the notice board quest, see if anyone needs any of the stuff I've got on me. Huh. Ah, there we go, Granny. Chat. Passing run into class potato, carrot, onion stews, and spring onions, whatever. Okay, I'll get them. Thank you. No, I can count on you. Uh, so the quest requires potatoes, carrots, and thing. I've got carrots back at base. Um, spring onions, I don't have yet. They've not harvested, and I don't have enough potatoes. So we're going to quickly buy five potatoes. Because I think it was, was it 10 potatoes we needed? Let me just go back to the quest quickly. Yep. 15 spring onions. I know this is a massive waste of money. Oh, it really is. I, I will not be able to afford it. Okay, well, even more of a waste right now, but that's fine. So we won't actually do anything with that. Um, we will literally just wait until all of our stew ingredients are ready because good lord, no thank you. I think after the stew, we should get the quest for Pippin. So I'm just going to, quite frankly, move on. And you're at a stam. So we'll start a new day. Um, kind of regret buying those potatoes now, but that's fine. They didn't exactly cost me an arm and a leg, so I'm not exactly worried too much. Because we can't befriend the Storaco without the um, Juicy Poppin. There is that. I also picked up pears that I didn't deposit, but I'm not too fussed about that right now. I wonder if we'll have any more of our ingredients ready tomorrow. I don't think so. Maybe the spring onions. And in which case, we do have everything we need, which would be nice. That dreamstone away. We've got two large dreamstones, one small dreamstone. Just kind of easy to remember and uh, keep in mind. My understanding, uh, dreamstones are a finite resource and do not respawn, which means you, to get more, you do need to get them from, like, I think it was Arlon, I think. Right, let's quickly clean up this poop. I can see some stuff is ready to be harvested. I don't know what. I am curious to see which, but before that, let's go water. Just things. I think that's our spring onions, which means we should be done. Depending on how many we get per yield, and I think it's quite a high yield, so we should be fine. If not, we can make up the difference ever so slightly. If needs be. Okay, there we go. Didn't water all of it for some reason. I don't know why you do that. It's slightly a nightmare when you don't. There we go. And didn't do it again. Great. Thanks for your help. Not really. I was being sarcastic. There we go. Perfect. So now we can just go ahead and start harvesting these. And we got six. Oh, yeah. We're going to have enough. We're going to have plenty. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we'll quickly um, get out the requirements. So, oh, just a 
all of it out to be honest we've got the classic stew ingredients we just need to bring this back to granny um we can quickly do lucky's xp and then we'll um take galley to town okay so we're just gonna get rid of everything we can with lucky i think we should get level up uh today with lucky if not we'll be just shy which means we should level tomorrow so that's pretty handy just like building my stamina reserves with each of them so that I've got like a massive, massive amount that I can once down the line. If I need to expand further, I can. And if I need to just sprint around, I can. Which is handy. The Storaco you cannot sprint with and it's in fact slower to ride the Storaco than it is to walk it. Uh, to walk alongside it and use your own stamina. This is insane. Right. Lucky will be shy. Um, not by much, but enough for me to give a damn. So there we go. Three quarters isn't awful. Also, please move out of the way, Lucky. I don't. I Lucky. I will turn you into carnivore food. Leave. You are getting on my nerves. There we go. Perfect. Right. So, drop all of this back off again. Just picked up a bunch. Right. Now we will hop onto the Galamimus and head into town. There we go. Forty-one stamina. Not the end of the world. Just rush along. <sighs> Glorious. Um, at town. I'm going the wrong way. Where I will then have to run to Owens for the um, next part of the quest. That's fine. So, speak to you. There we go. Chat. I've got them. You'll take them away, then you'll give them back to me, so... That's fine. Uh, perfect. We've got everything we need. Also, those spring onions are higher level, which kind of is a shame that we're going to be using them up. Pippin's not there at the moment. Hmm. Don't think he appears on certain days. Oh, they appear. I don't... But yeah, that's a pain. Dagnamit. Let's quickly ride the galley all the way there. Good lord. But fortunately, the Gallimimus is like lightning. Although I don't know if the parasol's faster. I actually don't know. I'll have to do a speed test at some point. Just so I can figure out which one's the fastest to get around on. I think that's the first time I've actually gone around the map. That sounds okay, cool. Yep, you gave me a free potato, which I should be using for something else. Um, I'm going to try and cook this damn stew and probably fail, which will be a nightmare. Right over here. Soup. I need three pieces of wood. Oh, I'm so glad I put everything away. <sighs> and the quest mechanics in this game really are... Uh... <laughs> Not my favourite. I do love this game. I know I like to, de to hate. If I dunk on a game and I'm still playing it, it usually means I'm enjoying it. So don't panic. I, I mean, I can still dunk on Baldur's Gate 3 and it's probably one of my favourite games of all time. So it's not hard. Alright, here's some more vegetarian food. That's nice at least. Or I mean herbivore food, but what's, what's the difference, I guess? They are inherently a vegetarian. Vegetarians are inherently a herbivore. So I mean, I'm not wrong. And in we go. Hop off. You'll probably follow me right to the container I need to get into and get in my way. I'll turn you into carnival food and we'll all be happy. Right. Grab, grab. I'm uh, just convenience. We might get Gangly to level 3 by the end of the day. I'm not too sure on that, to be honest. I suppose we'll find out soon enough. Uh, where am I going? Over here, yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't pick up my pears today either. So, it's kind of convenient we did go this way. Just a little bit of extra cash, and that's not the worst thing in the world. They're also a juicy treat, so I think you can give them to the Straco once you got it to try and increase its friendship a little bit faster. We're not checking the post, though, because we need the sweet, um, or the juicy, um, pop in first anyway. So, I keep saying sweet, I mean juicy. Uh, so we'll wait, and we'll head over here. 
Do I have a quest for you that I need to be turning in right now? Oh yeah, feed a potato to paprika. I'm all right. Let's head over here. I think we're actually slowly but surely catching up to where I am on stream. So this is kind of convenient. Right, soup. Experiment. Uh, six. Max, okay. Five. Four, sorry. That's ten potatoes to the pot. Fifteen spring onions. Okay. And then 20 carrots. Right, can I type this? No, I can't. Of course I can't. Uh, boom. Classic stew. Cook. And then wait till it says it's ready. And then I double click with right and left just so I get it right. There we go. Mastered the classic stew. Now, I don't know what the stews do. Um, but I think if I go to my recipes, will it tell me? increased oh oh that's very useful actually that's kind of cool now that i know what they have a purpose for that's awesome um and useful to note because that increases your harvest which means if i was to consume the soup when harvesting spring onions which trust me they give so much i'm assuming that's because they're in season uh, there we go yep uh, water daily, uh, five days. Yeah, that's fine. So if I was to buy a bunch of spring onion seeds and just try to get them into a thing and then take that, I should get loads. Because uh, they're both in season and I've got an increased yield thing, which would be awesome. For now, let's take the stew. And then we'll head back. And by that point, Galley might be leveled up or might be close to it. So we can just hang around if needs be. But we'll go into a new day. And I think after that new day, so not today, but tomorrow's day, um, we will uh, end our episode. So we've got a little bit lo longer, which will probably take us just shy of two hours. Oh, I've not seen that person before. The rap dragon. Anything you need? Chat. There you go. Take another recipe. Thank you. This is where Pippin usually is, though, but I've not seen this person before. Spent the color. Whole new look for you. Okay, so this is the clothes shop. Awesome. Rani. Speaking of, open to anything. Let's have a look. What have you got? Custom order. Okay, so they do have a lot of options that are outside of what you'd usually be able to get. Is this like a... What is this? Rope. Okay. So that's the custom order. What's your trades? So, you, you can buy fiber. That's awesome. And... What's your chat? Every chance I get to travel, cool. Love that. Love that for me. Pippin. Well, uh, maybe if I buy one Pippin, it might be at that. Let's find out. I need to pop in. Let's buy one. Actually, sat, hold up. What's this? Pippin rice. It doesn't tell me what it does, but okay. I won't buy it because it's a thousand. So I speak to him. Pop in. No. Did it say if you loop running out of space? He says something about um, if you're running out of space, speak to Orani. No. Keep chatting. No. It says something about running out of space, speak to Orani, right? I'm not going crazy. So you can increase your storage space, maybe. Is that something that Orani has a purpose for? Or would that be, I would assume, Arlon? Custom order, no. I guess the rope might be useful for something, but I don't know what. Anyway. Nope. I have a feeling if I wanted more storage space, it would be... I don't know. I would assume it'd be you. Custom order. Look at that. That's the third level one. And if I wanted that, I'd need fiber and shells. Oh, we've got enough. There's a lot of stuff here that looks really nice that I can't wait to just buy and start decorating places with. Uh, but you can get some dreamstones. A sleeping patch, huh? I don't have any. don't know how to get that, but alright. I don't know how to make a sleeping patch without it. What do I need to buy a sleeping patch from you and then... That works. Is this a wall? It is. I can actually get... 
walls and i don't know if that's my stone wall around my farm or if that's an individual item or if that's like a replacement for a fence it's a trough no so i'm gonna go back to that custom order that's stone so is it like an individual block i would assume so for that small small price that fountain is awesome i need a lot more stone and i need a fair bit more shells not loads okay cool let's head back out as i said we'll make it into a new day uh i would love to increase your inventory space i don't think that's possible though right actually i've got time i'm gonna google on my walk back increase inventory Paleo Pines. You can split stacks. No. They're just beginner's tips. Nothing about increasing inventory space. Okay. That's fine. And Galley's very close to leveling up, so tomorrow's watering a session should probably do it. Right, I've got loads of stuff left over from our thing, so I could probably sell them, to be honest. But for now, let's just stick it all away because we don't need it right now. And then I will pick them to be sold. So we'll grab those. Everything that can be sold tomorrow, we will sell. Don't think about selling the mango. I'm not too fussed about that. Yep. Yeah, okay, sleep. Keep playing and sleep. See what else we have got from our farm today. As well as potentially leveling the galley again. And of course, lucky. Is there any poop in here that I can see? No. Okay. We'll do lucky first. Just make life a little bit easier. I think we've got some carrots that can be picked up. It's very convenient. Um, we're going to go to level 8, which will take us up to 225. Level 9 will be 250. I think level 11 is um, 300. I think it goes up by 50s until 500, but I don't know if it goes any further than that, if it's a soft cap or a hard cap. I don't want to be spoiled on that. I'd like to find out firsthand. Maybe there's a max level cap anyway. And the stamina sort of goes with it. So we'll see. But regardless, like it, it, the stamina level we're already at 225 is kind of crazy for how much, you know, you can get done and or sprint. You know, it's kind of more than enough. Uh, I need to put this all away. But for now, I'm not too fussed about that. It's also raining, so I don't actually need to use the Gallimimus's, um watering ability. In fact, I won't be able to because everything's already watered. We have one weed we need to get rid of and then we can have um, pick up these carrots quickly. And we're going to sell all of this in town and hope that Pippin is ready to sell us a different type of poppin. If not, I don't know what to do in order to do that. Uh, it's not going to be the feeding the potatoes with paprika. It might be just approaching a Storaco to unlock it. I don't know. Guess we'll have to find out. Because I've, I've had it trigger every single time, but I have no idea what causes it to trigger. Maybe it's a day after I purchased something from Pippin. Nope, it's not triggered. 10 out of 10. Uh, okay. Trade. Uh, one... Okay, max, okay, max, okay, and then max. There we go. So much money now. I'm going to have to Google how to get Pippin's Poppins. How to unlock Poppins Paleo Pines. How to unlock every Poppin flavor. Except, oh, yep. Yeah. You try to tame a dinosaur that prefers to tame you hasn't unlocked yet. So, if there's a dinosaur that you find that needs a new taste, you have to speak to Pippin. Gotcha. So, we have to try and tame a Staracosaurus. I could have saved a lot of time knowing this in the past. But hey, Galley's leveled up. That's awesome. Um, let's try and tame one. You've got some nice colors out here. That's kind of cool. Oh my goodness, that orange one back there is awesome. Ah. 
Yoo-hoo! Alright, one, two, three, four. Four. Oh, it's not giving me the thing. You have to be like... Come on. Yoo-hoo, there we go. Yoo-hoo. There we go, now we do the friend call. You have to like get to the right point where it shows up on the bottom right. Now we do the friend call. Which is... Wow. There we go. There we go, don't need to do it anymore. Soothe. And it'll run away. Do I have to complete the team, I wonder? Strachosaurus got bored. That's cool. Do I have to complete the team to be able to do it? I have no idea. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure, but just by starting it, I should have triggered it, right? I don't have any of the food on me because I sold it all. So I should get a carrot, I suppose. Tell me that triggers it. It does not trigger it. Oh, I freaking love that for me. Maybe I need to have the Pippin on me as well. Okay, let me read that guide properly. Try to have a tasty donut and lock right at the popping recipe. For example, if you try a fragrant loving country sauce without the fragrant wrap, you might be prompted to lock the recipe when you talk to Pippin. Uh, come up with the recipe and the information about the head. I'll ask you to. Tamar Bloom, Apple Clover. Uh... Mm. Okay, cool. That makes sense. I think. Uh, let's buy a pair. Confirm. Yeah. Not exactly the end of the world just to buy one. And then we'll go and try and tame again. But I'll get my pip in just so that I've got it. So it doesn't end in tears. So I don't have to do it for a third time. Because that will be nightmarish. I'm pretty sure. Do I have to wait a day for it to get the recipe unlocked? I don't know. Do I have to speak to someone about a quest for it? I don't know. Uh, oh, I've gone past where I need to go. I'm losing my marbles. We are getting close to two hours. I might even be able to get to two hours because I said that it will be the end of this day. So we've, we're not finished with the day yet. Um, Yeah, there we go. Come on. Let me on. Thank you. Let's try again. You'll do. Hello. And we got the friend call, which is one through all the way. One all the way. There we go. Uh, we need to feed you a pair. You will like it. I know you will. I'm guessing I have to try and befriend you. With that. You won't like it. I'm hoping that's going to be what it requires. Doesn't like this treat. Oh no. Maybe a new flavour of Pippin would help. There we go. Probably didn't even need to waste that freaking pair then. <sighs> there we go. Let's just go over here now. Speak to him again, or them again. And we're golden. And then I will end the day rather than trying to stain the Sarakosaurus, because I, as I said, I'm getting hungry. I need a vape. I need a break. Oh. Chat, let's do business. Chat, oh, I've got to say no. Not exactly. Another flavor? Not really, no. Fine. Strawberries or carrots? I'll get you some. And I think I sold all my carrots. Because I'm stupid. And I did. And I don't think I can buy any today. So... Or strawberries, for that matter. I can't buy either of them. That's fine. That just means we'll wait for a new day. Anyway, like I said. Because we need to get carrots to be able to unlock it. I was just a bit daft there. My bad. <sighs> Although I feel like a pear should do it, but it can't by the looks of it. 
That's fine. Hang on a minute. That color's still there. Yeah, that color's still there. That's to give a potato to him. I don't want to do that right now. It's all golden. Right. I think this is a great place to end the video. If you have enjoyed today's video, which it has been a lot. Okay, it's not fully two hours, but it's pretty darn close. Um, make sure you just smash the like button down below. If you want to make sure subscribe because you're going to super duper appreciate it. There's a whole playlist already of this game. However, this episode onward will be the full game, whereas previously it's been a... Um, demo sort of series so this is the full series now so if you want to watch it from now on this will be where it'll be it's gonna be a whole massive playlist filled with hours and hours of content and that's just the first few episodes <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching have a nice day and ta -ra.